Hello, I'm Jeff Cavins, and today we're going to look at the readings for Easter Sunday. Praise God. Hallelujah. He is risen. This is one of the greatest days in the entire liturgical year where we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. This is the moment that really changes everything for us. There's a number of moments that are monumental in salvation history. When we have Jesus and uh, his birth and we have his death and now we have his resurrection. I love what Paul said uh, when he talked about the resurrection in 1 Corinthians 15, which is not a part of today's readings, but he talked about the fact that if he did not rise from the dead, you're still in your trespasses and sins. In other words, if he didn't rise from the dead, life is just going to continue on as you know it. But if he rose from the dead and you are in Christ by faith, attached to him, in him, and he's in you, it's going to radically change your whole life. And the reading that I want to focus on on this beautiful week of the resurrection is from Colossians. And we would normally talk about the readings dealing with the resurrection, but Father's going to give you that during Mass. I want to read just a couple of verses from Colossians chapter 3. If you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things on earth, that are on earth, for you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you will also appear with him in glory. Now, this is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing that it tells us that, that if then you have been raised with Christ, it's going to change what you seek in your life. If Christ really rose from the dead and you are in Christ, it's going to change what you are seeking in your everyday life. As part of this Easter celebration, I'd like you to think about what are you seeking? What are you looking for? How do you spend your time? How do you spend your money? Does it reflect the fact that Christ has been raised from the dead and you are with him and now you are to focus on things above, the things uh, of heaven? Or is this a truth that you believe in but you're not entrusting yourself to him and as a, as a result it's not really changing your life and you're seeking what the world seeks? This is a squandering of the great gift that we have in the resurrection. The fact that he rose from the dead should change our heart and we begin to focus on and seek the things that are above, not the things of this earth. That's what the people of this world are seeking because they are not in Christ and they are not participating in this glorious resurrection. To be a witness of Jesus, and not to be a false witness, but to be a witness of Jesus, our life should reflect this reality that we are risen with him. It is a beautiful thing, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Just a side note, have you ever gone to daily mass and noticed all of the seniors that are there? It's interesting that those who are closer to dying, those who are up in the years, a tendency to focus on the things above a little bit more than those in their 20s and 30s. I think one of the reasons is because those who are in their 70s and 80s have already gone down that road and they know this is not what I was looking for. It's like Bono and U2 singing that song, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. In the resurrection of Jesus Christ this week, we have found what we are looking for. Our life has changed, it has purpose, and our focus is now different. Let's go out into the world and let's live that refocused life, the life of the resurrection.